Hello guys, and welcome to Saturday Q&A, recorded at um, Tottenham Truck Stop uh, on Friday, because that way it gives me more time to do Sunday's Q&A on Saturday. That makes perfect sense to me, I know, that's you guys. Uh, right, yeah, so what we starting off with, um, yeah, words of support. <laughs> Thanks very much, it's kind of... It's kind of difficult because everyone's been ever so lovely, and um, yeah, it kind of it's you know compliments are difficult to take sometimes, so, and also to recite them back, it's a bit like oh, aren't I great? You know, sort of. But I did that video on um, was it Emron em or Betty or whatever it was, but the guys who joined because of me, and they said thanks very much, changed my life, and um, it's my genuine pleasure. Honestly, I'm pleased it's worked out for you. I just want everyone to be happy. And as a result, which the other thing you can take this for is those of you that think that I am just making this stuff up. There is now a whole list which you can look at in the comments, a bit I mean, of other people that will also give you testimony that they've jumped on board and it's worked for them. So, Mark Laughlin says he gave it a go because of me. And I know he's doing all right. He's a tramping guy who does like one job a day. He's right. Danny Boyce says keep him coming. He's, um, I don't know if he joined because of me. Um, Ian Woodward said he didn't join me because of me. He got, but once he got on board, he got me on Google. And he says the advice has helped. I think a lot of this comes up a lot. He said the advice has given him confidence. I think the thing is when you start off, and I still remember what it's like. That rabbit in the headlights, haven't got a clue what you're doing. And you're going to do it anyway. You're just going to have to work it out the hard way. And I think if there's someone along the, along the way who can just sort of give you a few pointers that can help you avoid a few pitfalls, hopefully that's what I've done. And hopefully it's helped, like, you know. Uh, BTH Transport says keep it up. Thank you, mate. Jason Burke, my hero, uh, says good on you. And he says don't be soft. He says one day we'll meet and, or, and shake hands or bump elbows or have a pint. I'm going with the latter on that one, Jason. I think have a point sounds the best to me, like you know, so and as for don't be soft, I can't help it. Um Nima Transport says I'm a good soul, thank you. Gold member says um life is short and it's nice to be nice. And he's dead right with that one, absolutely. Um Bootneck says, I'll wind this up quickly, uh what goes around comes around. Yeah, I think you're right there, mate. Definitely after the karma thing. I think karma works. I think karma's a long game. You don't expect it to happen to you instantly. But you know, if you kick it on the way, you kick them on the way up, they'll kick you on the way down. They say it's two ways to top in politics. You kick your way up or you crawl your way up. If you kick your way up, you'll get kicked on the way down. If you crawl the way up, you're still crawling. I think there's always a third way. I think you can be, you know, you can. Some people just get there just by being nice and being good. I think so. And not being good, you know, being good at it. Um, not that I'm that good at it, but there you go. Uh, Glue Eugen says, you're a gold mine for those starting on the CX. He said, but he still can't see how anyone can make money in anything less than a Luton van. I always said Luton's were the way forward, but then we had a whole pile of testimonies only recently to people that were running a small van and doing it. And also bear in mind, it's all about expectations. Not everyone's out there to be a millionaire. Some people kind of are just happy with the pot around you know, get out there. And Van on the Run says Diamond Geezer. Thank you, Van on the Run. He's got his own video. Oh, there's even more on the other side. Uh, sorry, Michael Sumner. He says he joined the CX. All right, now I like this one. He says, I joined the CX after being made redundant. He says, yes, career work can be hard and frustrating, but he's enjoying the freedom and the open road. And he wouldn't change it for anything. He said, thanks for the vids. My genuine pleasure, mate. If it's worked, that's all I want to hear. That's fantastic. Um, uh, oh, and Dave Tut. I believe this is the guy speaking up to me in Scotland. I'm not sure if that's you, Dave. Um, he said he was placed on furlough, um, knowing he was going, you know, when you go into furlough, knowing the job was on the line, he's in aviation. He's now started running on the CX. He said, I feel like the new boy, but he said, I bet to meet some great people. Thanks for the help. And he'll also buy me a pint. So between him and Jason and uh, Dave, with me, Jason and Dave Tut, I think we're going out on the rasp. Anyway, that's enough of that. So there's other people that said that the CX has worked, not me. So you don't have to believe me, you can believe them. Or don't believe any of us. Quite frankly, I don't mind. Truck parking. Uh, yeah, now, a lot of you, as usual, have jumped to my uh, rescue, being the clueless person in the seven and a half ton here. Um, Mark Everson and T. He Lee and Steve Campbell and Dave Ferguson have also said, that basically the two that seem to come out seem to be in truck and snap parking. And Jason Burke also says, and motorway buddy. So what I think I'm going to do, there's a few others, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to download all of them and then um, I'm going to try them and see which one works best for me. 
But I don't think, I, anyway, I don't know how much time I'm going to spend out, but anyway, I'm going to try him. Uh, Rowan Wood says, um, he was the guy who bought the video for about uh, grooming. He says, um, for, for truck parking, there's one, truckparkingeurope.com. Thing is, I'm unlikely to go into Europe because I've got standard national, so I can't actually leave the country, but I'll bear that in mind for future. Uh, Bob Keane says, find, find digs on booking.com, then Google an, an, an industrial estate nearby. That's cool, but the thing with that is you've got a park in the industrial estate. A, I'm not 100% happy about leaving the truck somewhere I don't know overnight if I don't have to, and without like me as security guard in it. Not, I'm not much of a security guard. Uh, and B, um, you've got to get from the industrial estate to the place then, you? But anyway, I'll work it out. Um, and he also said he spoke to Van on the run. And Van on the run, he said, he show, he said the shared hostels. He said he's, he's, he's been, he's, since, since he's been speaking to Van on the run, he's been in these shared hostels. He said he's had some fun and met some interesting characters. I know nothing of shared hostels. If you want to elucidate, guys, please do. Maybe that's the way forward. Um, Steve SDC says the Junction Junction 1 M18 truck stop is fantastic. Okay, well, if I'm ever there, I'll, um, I'm not quite sure if that means Junction 1. Is that like... You know the M18 where it crosses to the A1. I'm guessing. So I don't think that there ain't one on Junction One on Junction One. Which Junction One? M1 Junction One. M4 Junction One. Which Junction One? Um, <coughs> but yeah, apparently. Uh, Mark Lachlan said if you're ever in Bristol, the postcode BS34 5TA. I think it's opposite Asda's. Got loads of space, so that's worth bearing in mind. So I've nearly got stuck down there once. Uh, Trucker Chris. I think it's Mike Mike Welsh, mate, but I'm not sure. He says, watch Scott Andrews. He's, there's loads in the comments. There's a few people out there doing the trucking thing that are much wiser than me. If you follow Truck and Chris's um, comment in, in the comments, there's a few, oh, he recommends a few other videos. Um, they do run down to the app. Um, and Godzilla, well, and Godzilla's at the end of the day, he says, basically, <laughs> they're all trouble. They all get done over at some stage. He says, slash curtains, fuel theft, best to be home if you can. Having said that, when I did my walk round check this morning, the, the, the petrol cup was hanging off. Which means I think someone's had a look to see if there was petrol in here, despite the fact the tank was half full and didn't take any. Which is curious, because it means they might be coming back tonight. Which is why I'm currently at a track stop with no diesel, I've got to go to Milton Keynes and back, and um, I'm going to put in like a tenner. <laughs> so you can, if you want to lose the tenner, feel free. If you can suck it out the bottom of the tank, good luck with that. Uh, but yeah, so I still think, but the ones I'll try, I'll, I'm gonna try that in truck and snap parking, and I might try motorway buddy as well and see how I get on. And if they work, I'll let you know, as always. Make me no mistakes and let you know. Um, we did one on the daft day, day bed, very comfortable. Uh, Bob Keen says, looks nice. Need those curtains back up though. Lovely. I tell you what, I was there the other morning and I had to drop off in Shropshire at eight o'clock and I woke up at like one. So sometimes I crack on early. So I drove for three hours, pulled into one of these little kind of lay-by things, shut the curtains around. It makes so much difference. It's like you've got your own. Suddenly I'm not in the front of a lorry. Suddenly I'm in a sleeper cab on the Orient Express. The thing even rocks like a train as class ones fly past you and it's kind of something's like nice and cozy and all different you know it really made a difference i wasn't even going to get them re up and i thought because when she went in for inspection i thought we'll get them refitted because they're a bit tricky and they've done it and i was so pleased i did made all the difference and van on the run says looks good do you have a night heater yes i do i'm very lucky as i found out one summer when i thought i wonder what this button does and i'm sitting there in my shorts and my t-shirt going God, it's warm in here isn't it <laughs> I was only going, touching the dashboard going, I think the heating thing must be the dashboard. It's a switch up here. And I've worked it out. It didn't even, I'm trying to work it out how it works because there's a thing up there and like this control panel and I Googled it, nothing. I think it basically is, help me out with this. If you want it on, you press the button, a red light comes on, it's on. If you want it off, you press the button, a red light goes off, it's off. I think that's how the light heater, the night heater works. Let me know if there's something I'm missing. Uh, right, this is another interesting one. Recently... Right, here we go. Skishkal, um, Suk, Suk, Sukral Singh. He's a big fan of the accent. And there's one, Zutikil Jamil. Sorry about this, guys. You know, I, I can't do these things. He says, thanks for all the phrases. I, I, did, I, did, I did one a while back on how to start to talk money in Cockney because of the market thing. And I also done one on how to count to 10 on market numbers. Um, 
and Deck D E K Austin says he's an English learner. He says he finds my different my accent difficult to understand, but I love it and I want to practice it. He wants he wants to listen to it for his practice listening. So when he gets on you know on site, when people don't speak proper English, they speak English like me, it helps him. So what I might do, guys, and I've said about, I've threatened this one before. Um, I might do a couple on the Cockney thing. Now the thing is, I've, I've, I've put it off because I'm not a real Cockney. The closest I ever got my grandma was she was born in Bow, but that doesn't make you a Cockney. But we'll come to that another day. But one of my biggest scoring videos is one on, you know, on on the on the accent thing. And I've looked on YouTube, and there are people out there doing it, but they're a bit slick and they're not a bit like me. I will probably have to enlist my mate Dave the Chris on this one because he's proper South London, whereas I'm kind of Mockney from Luton. But anyway, we'll come. So if I, if anyone crop, you get these videos cropping up on the accent, and it's of interest, no interest to you, just don't watch them. It's fine. Please don't pay me no mind. It's just that trying to get yourself more subscribers, trying to get yourself out there, and it's just a bit of a laugh. So that's kind of the size of things. So that's it today. And in conclusion, we have got from um, oh Stealth Wealth says it's official. The Red Arrows are now on the CX. I'm thinking maybe make my way up to that because we did a video recently when the Red Arrows flew overhead. And I'm thinking, well, first of all, you do your class two, then you get your class one, then it's pilot's license, then it's jet fighter pilot's license, and then it's aerial display. By which time I'm going to be oh, well into my sixties and with no eyesight. And I'm a bit beta fit in one of them little cabs, but I'll think about it. Um, and uh, Steve SDC says, on the truck parking thing, where to park, he says, watch where you park. Unintentionally, I parked in a couple of dogging spots and seen things that scare the life out of him. Scarred him for life, rather. As Jason Burke says, if it's rocking, don't come knocking. Yeah, I think I might just try and make it back to the yard. So that's it for Saturday. That just takes the sting out of Sunday, because otherwise it gets too long. But... Um, hope you're all well i have now got seven minutes left in my break up to mk and home we got delivering a new truck today and we got a geezer starting in it um everybody if i didn't get back to you, whatever you know what it is but yeah i think when we're up and running on free that's me done now because i've only got three on me operators but we'll just see how that works out and in the meantime let's hope it works and then we can take care take money <laughs>